Hey teachers, imagine you had a teaching assistant for any subject or grade level that you teach that could help fix technical issues with Google Classroom or Canva, help you come up with fun learning activities, plan out lesson ideas, and more. EduGPT.com is your one-stop shop that provides educators with technical support on popular edtech platforms like Canvas, Kahoot, Microsoft Office. They also have virtual teaching assistants powered by ChatGPT that could answer any questions you have without you having to be an expert on prompt engineering. To begin, you simply need to sign in or sign up for free with your email address. As soon as you log in, you'll see this interface, and if it's your first time, you'll probably start off with 10,000 credits. To start using EduGPT, you're going to click on AI Faculty. Here are all the chatbots you can interact with. There are technical support specialists for various edtech platforms, and as you scroll down, you'll see teaching assistants tailored to various grade levels and subjects. There are also different teaching method specialists for project-based learning, differentiated instruction, and more. Keep in mind, these images of teachers are AI-generated, so they're not real people, and also this list is still growing since it's currently in its beta stage. Now, I'm going to scroll up and show you exactly how it works. First, let's start with Canvas. If you haven't used Canvas before, it's a learning management system similar to Schoology or Blackboard. Once you click on the blue chat now button, you can scroll down and choose your language. I'm going to go ahead and choose English. Next, you're going to type your question or message in the box below. For instance, say I'm using Canvas and I want to ask, how do I enable peer review for an assignment? Then I'm going to click the blue send button and in less than a second, it's going to respond with step-by-step -step instructions on how to do so. You can also choose to ask any follow-up questions as well. Now I'm going to scroll up and show you some additional features of this chat. First, keep in mind that for each question I ask, it's going to reduce the number of credits I have, and in the future, you'll be able to purchase these credits. Now below the credit button, there are also some buttons here. The first one is the share button, which you can use to copy and paste the link of this chat. Next is the light bulb that gives you suggested types of questions you can ask. The third button pulls up the sidebar for easy access to previous chats. Then the information button gives you general information about the tool. And finally, the settings button will allow you to create a new chat or download it for your own feature reference or to share with a fellow teacher who might also benefit. One more bonus thing I want to share with you is that these chats can also provide step-by-step -step video tutorials that may be easier to follow. Just make sure you ask it to provide a video in your message. And just like that, you'll get step-by-step -step instructions plus an added video that you can use to follow along. Now let's move on to another tool. Say you're working with Canva. Some chats also allow you to change the output language, the tone, and the writing style. So for language, I'm going to leave it as English. For tone, we're going to say educational. And writing style, I'm going to leave it as default. I found that honestly leaving all of them as default totally worked fine. Now I'm going to ask my question, how do I convert Canva to PowerPoint? This is a question that I get frequently from teachers, and EduGPT is able to answer these type of questions any time of the day, saving teachers time and stress. Now that we had a chance to work with some technical specialists, I wanted to show you what teacher assistants can also do. So I'm going to scroll up and click AI Faculty. If you experience any technical glitches like this, don't worry, keep in mind it is still in its beta stage. All you have to do is click home and back to AI faculty and you should be good to go. Now at the top of this page, you can choose to select an option and filter through various subjects and age levels, or you can scroll down and look through the various teacher assistants and specialists. Say I'm a physics teacher for 10th graders, so I'm going to scroll down and find my teacher's assistant. Then I can ask my teacher assistant any questions or messages I have about my class or subject. I want to ask, what are some fun ways to introduce force and Newton laws to my students? Then it's going to output a list of fun activities, including balloon rockets, egg drop challenge, and so many more creative ideas that I probably wouldn't have been able to come up with all on my own. And if I wanted, I can also follow up with a list of materials that I currently have access to, and the teaching assistant can work around those materials to come up with fun activities as well. For my final example, we're going to go back to the AI faculty because I wanted to share with you Mr. Future. Mr. Future is an assistant that can help with college planning and scholarship opportunities. I can ask certain questions tailored to specific needs. For instance, I can ask, what are some US scholarships open to first-generation low-income students? And it's going to output a list of these specific scholarships with the short description. Now, if you've ever had a chance to look for scholarships, you probably know it can take a long time to search for scholarships on Google, search engines, and blogs. 
This makes it so much easier and you can do it in seconds. It helps you save time and helps students get the resources they need. And when you're done asking your questions, keep in mind you can always refer back to them. Click on my panel at the top and then click on the gray view chats button. You'll be able to see your original chats here. If you click the green chat now button, you'll go back to the original chat so you can ask more follow-up questions if you'd like. So plenty of downloading options and the share button. And that's the end of our EduGPT tutorial. I hope you found it helpful and I highly recommend you check it out. It's simply edugpt.com. It's currently in its beta stages, which is super exciting. As always, feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel and to our free weekly newsletter for more AI tools like these. See you in the next video.